Today we will be looking at which type of customer you can attract by accepting cryptocurrencies. So stay tuned to find out more. Crypto Media Service, bringing you in-depth thoughts on cryptocurrencies. Welcome to Crypto Media Service. I am the Golden Boy, and today we will be talking about growing your business by accepting cryptocurrency. If you want to know more about which system we recommend you to use when accepting cryptocurrency, I will be linking that up in the right corner. But let's dive into which type of customers you can attract. And the argument I often hear is that you can only attract nerds and geeks by accepting cryptocurrency. That is simply not true. I have seen every walks of life using cryptocurrencies. So you can attract every walks of life. But there are some special types which you have a higher tendency to attract by accepting cryptocurrencies. And that is what we're going to be looking at. The first stereotype I hear about often is the shady hacker. Well, they are out there and they may use cryptocurrencies in your store, but it is not the majority. It is so small a fraction that I will not cover them anymore, but you just need to know they are out there and you don't need to worry about them. Then you have your classic computer nerd or computer geek, whatever you want to call them and whatever you like to be called. They will, of course, also be into cryptocurrencies and some of them are really deep into cryptocurrencies and would like a place to use them. So if you have a store, physical or digital store, then you might attract a lot of these customers if you have product they desire. This could be obvious items such as hardware, software, but it could also be food delivery, grocery shopping, and so on. Only your imagination sets the boundaries. It is just easier to target the consumer if you know which type of consumer it is. That's why I divide it into types, not to offend anyone. The next type is the privacy hunter, the one who wants complete privacy. They can be conspiracy theorists, but they do not need to be. There are many people out there wanting privacy. And thanks to cryptocurrency, they can get private transactions. And by you accepting these transactions on the privacy coins, such as uh, Dash, Monero, Zcash, I have a linked article down below where you will see many more private ca privacy cash. But by accepting these, you will appeal to this kind of consumer who wants privacy when they buy items. It could be items of a personal nature, but it could also just be people wanting privacy from banks interfering with what they're buying and from other people being able to trace their purchases. Let's move on to the not so thought of cryptocurrency user, which are also out there and can be a great customer buying a lot of items. One of these very overlooked groups is the stay at home mom. The stay at home mom often has a lot of sp free time and is actually involved in different kinds of investments, mostly to spend time on it and have something to do with that free time. And I know a couple of stay-at-home moms which have gotten, a, well, a lot of money on cryptocurrencies and they would love to spend it on baby items or kids items, depending on how old their children are. But they would also like to spend it on things for themselves. So you have a big consumer group here. There's no numbers on how big that consumer group is, but it is often overlooked. And in many statistics, it is completely overlooked. So if you are market your items to stay at home mom, why not just slap a cryptocurrency accepted here sticker on your marketing material? It might help your business grow with an overlooked consumer group and they might even spend a little more money. The next overlooked group is the family father or the single father. They are in the same group because they mostly have the same purchase requirements in mind. These are people who have invested when it was hot and when it was new or maybe even when it got well known. And they have a lot of cryptocurrency to spend and are still a big consumer group because they had the money to buy in. They still have the currency, some most of them. And 
they're willing to spend it if they can use it on either their family or themselves. So if you are selling gadgets or gadget-like play items such as radio-controlled cars or airplanes or something like that, then you will actually have a great chance of attracting some of these family fathers to use their cryptocurrencies at your store. Of course, you need to make sure they notice that they can use cryptocurrency by attaching some form of sticker on your webpage or in your physical store that you accept cryptocurrencies. I do hope this has inspired you to consider using cryptocurrency as a form of payment in your store or if you're planning to open a store. And if you like this video, please leave a like, uh, click subscribe and that little bell notification icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're interested in learning more about which solutions we recommend, then down in the description there are links to an article on payment solutions within the cryptocurrency space. If you want a more in-depth analysis of each customer group, then please write it in the comment and I will make sure to make videos on each group if you would want them. And as always, I wish you a great week and hope to see you again next week. Bye bye!